Hey everybody and welcome to SolidWorks. My name is Mike and today we're going to be talking about construction lines. Now construction lines are basically lines that support your model without being part of it. And there are situations where they can come in handy uh, quite a bit. So what I'll do is I'll show you an example where they might be useful uh, first without and then with. Okay, so we're going to go to our sketch tab and we're going to open up the sketch window i'm going to grab a line we're going to go to our top plane and we're just going to start making a model right so we're going to go up here and i'm just going to create a profile that we can then revolve right okay let's make sure we're aligned here there you have it okay we're going to accept this now, with this uh, setup here, I'm going to go to my Feature tab and I'm going to click on the Revolved Boss Base, okay? So we're going to click on that and it's going to give me this example right here. Now, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, the only thing is I wanted this to be a model with a hole in the middle that I can put an axle through, right? So how would I do that? Well, what you do is you just go back. We're not going to accept this. We're going to go back to our sketch. We're going to line it up going to go back and grab a line just a regular line and we're going to go in here and we're going to extend this down and I'll move it over here until I'm aligned with this guy and then we're going to go up now you're probably thinking well these are just regular lines well they are for now but if you right click on them and click on the second symbol you'll turn it into construction geometry right and that will give you a dotted line and it should anyway let's see if i got that and there you go that one's a construction line this one looks like it's not let me just uh, have a look here i think it actually is just to be sure there you go okay all right so we got this now this is going to revolve around this axis so that automatically means that this would be equal to the radius of the circle you want in your object right being half of the diameter so now that we have this set up here we're going to go to our feature tab again and we're going to click on revolve and now we're going to get a menu where we get the question okay what is your axis of revolution and that's going to be this guy down here right so as soon as i click on that we'll get a preview and you'll see that we now have a hole running through our object and that is one way to use construction lines okay so hopefully this was helpful for you guys although it's a short little video nevertheless it should be helpful and uh, that said if you want to see more solidworks content then uh, please consider subscribing to the channel right so you don't miss anything well that's it for me thank you guys for watching see you guys in the next one bye